or let them enter the circle of, of employment and then back home and then employment, which alhamdulillah is good. Everyone needs to work and you have to work and you have to work hard and with honesty. But outside of our working lives, should we not have this kind of determination that this young individual Musa ibn Umar had? Shouldn't we want that for our young children so that we can also benefit from them and take the reward at the same time? We should want that for our children. We should want that for ourselves. That we can have the same sense of courage and determination of Musa ibn Umair. And we can give as men of responsibility and as leaders of our community, we can give the young individual these high noble aims. That we don't push them down and quash their talents and their ambitions. We pull them up and we give them an aspiration. We raise their morale and we make them see you can achieve the things that you want to do in this pure religion. In the battle of Uhud, the Prophet made Musa ibn Umar carry the, flan, the, the standard and the flag of Islam. And he's fighting courageously. But of course, as you know, in that battle of Uhud, many things happened. The rumor began that the Prophet ﷺ had been killed. We know that the Prophet was injured in that battle ﷺ, and he lost his tooth in that battle ﷺ, and his jaw was smashed in in that battle ﷺ. And 70 of the great Sahaba were killed. And the Prophet's uncle, Hamza, he was killed. And so many things were happening. And Musa ibn Umar is carrying the flag of Islam. And all of these things are being spoken. The Prophet has been killed. This has happened. What would a, another person do? His morale would, would lower. He would think, well, maybe that's the end of it then. Maybe it was all good whilst we had it, but now maybe things are finished. If the Prophet has been killed, is there a calamity bigger than his death? Either usiba ahadakum bi musiba, fal yadkur musibatihi bi fa inna a'zam lam masaib, or kama qal sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If anyone is given any musiba, if anyone is afflicted by any calamity, let him remember that calamity, that difficulty by my death. Because it's the greatest calamity, the death of the Prophet ﷺ. And here they're hearing rumors of the death of the Prophet ﷺ. And Musa ibn Umar is carrying the flag of Islam, the standard of Islam. Every time he has this news that the Prophet had been killed, in a loud voice, Musa ibn Umar. He says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرَّسُولٌ And Muhammad is only a Rasul. And many messengers have passed away before him. And Muhammad وسلم, is only a messenger. And many messengers have passed before him, passed away before him, gone before him. Every time he's hearing this, in louder voice, he's saying the same thing. Because he's showing the companions. Our work is one that surpasses. Like when those Sahaba in the same battle were on the floor. Few of them, they had sat down, they had resigned. And the Sahabi, he walked past and he says, what are you sitting down for? And they said, the Prophet of Allah, Qutil, he's been killed. And, and he said to them, So why don't you get up and go and die for what he died for them? If he's been killed, what are you doing on the floor? If he is being killed, what are you doing on the floor? Why don't you get up and go and die for what he died for? What is it the Prophet taught them? What is the Prophet taught us? Where does our work end? Does it end with this or must it transcend and continue? 
This is what Musab is teaching his companions. Our work is a work that will not stop, does not stop in his situation with the death of the Prophet or the rumor of the death of the Prophet Our work is one that must always continue because our Rabb is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> because our Rabb is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Rabb of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's for his sake that we do what we do. Until one of the mushrikeen comes and he attacks Musab ibn Umair and he severs his right arm. What does he do? Does he fall? Does he beg for clemency and mercy? What does he do? Does he lose spirit? Does he become demotivated because of this injury? He grabs the same stand of the flag in his other hand to show the Muslimin, we and the Mushrikeen, in fact, we are a people of resolve. We are a people of determination. We are not a people of giving up. We are not a people of apathy. We are not a people of weakness. We are a people of strength. Allah has made us a people of strength. Allah has given us strong hearts. Allah has given us courageous hearts. Until his left hand, his left arm is severed. And now he doesn't have any arms in operation. So what will he do with this standard, this flag of Islam? Again, in this spirit of resistance, in the spirit of resolve, he clutches this flag between his shoulders, in what remains of his arms, between his shoulders like this, teaching them, this is who we are. Until he's given the final blow, and Musab ibn Umair, falls radiallahu ta'ala an. now just think about something go back to where we began go back to what musab ibn umair was he was the image remember he was the celebrity of mecca to be mecca the prophet said once i have not seen in mecca someone like him who has more ni'am who has more blessings than he has more privileged than he is, with better hair than he has, and better clothing. I've not seen someone like this man, radiallahu ta'ala an. Musa ibn Umair was the image, was a celebrity. And now he has fallen, killed in the plains of Uhud. When the Prophet, when the battle is over, and the Prophet was informed, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and together with a few of his companions, he arrives at the body of Musab ibn Umair, radiallahu ta'ala an. Imagine, imagine the thoughts and the feelings of those companions who were with Musab ibn Umair from Mecca. Imagine their thoughts and feelings, those who grew up with this man, who also became Muslim. Imagine the thoughts and feelings when they thought, Subhanallah, this man, he, was, he had everything, but today he has no arms. When they came, and they tried to cover his body and there was only a small squared piece of cloth when we they said when we tried to pull it over his head his feet would show and when we pulled it over his feet his head would show it's easy for us to narrate this but we can't see him imagine those who were seeing him and are doing this Imagine what they were thinking. Imagine their thoughts. Seeing this man who had the best clothing.